welcome back. So today I will be starting a new series. It's the matcha series because I am absolutely obsessed with matcha. I like it in pretty much everything from chocolate to cookies to cake, a lot of things. And so today we will be making a matcha cream pudding. Um, it's very easy to make. All you need is some matcha right here and some gelatin. So let's get started. Starting with the gelatin powder, I'm going to dissolve it in some cold water and I prefer using powder over the sheet kind because it dissolves more evenly and you don't really get chunks. Using a small pot, combine the matcha powder and the sugar. And try to get any hard chunks out of the sugar first. Next, add the milk gradually, little by little. Turn on the heat to low and start mixing. Uh, just until the sugar dissolves, do not let it boil. Turn off and remove from the heat. Then mix in the gelatin that we dissolved earlier. Mix evenly until there are no random chunks of gelatin left and pour into your molds. Then refrigerate until they have solidified. And you should end up with something jiggly like this. To take the pudding out of the mold, we are going to dip it in some warm water here. Make sure it's not boiling hot. We are not trying to burn ourselves. Just dip it in for a little bit. Be patient, it does take a little while for the sides to turn soft, but if it's stubborn and refuses to come out after a while, you can also use a wet warm towel and cover the outside with it. And ta-da! Perfect heart shape! And I'm just going to dust some more matcha powder on top. You could go ahead and enjoy your pudding as it is, or you could drown your pudding in fruits like I've done here. And look at it jiggle! I don't know why I love jiggly stuff so much. So here we are, finally finished, and time for a taste. Mmm! Big thumbs up. Perfect amount of matcha and cream flavor and if you like you could put less sugar in it it's really really delicious and I would totally make this again with more matcha and maybe a little bit less sugar because I like the bitter flavor in it and yeah I hope you all enjoyed this and I'll see you next time